Hello everyone, and welcome back to Silver Rooster. In today's episode, that's a lot of enemies. Jeez, that is. That's a lot of guys. I miss my lightning breath more and more. Holy moly, and that guy's just stuck in the cage. Ugh. Wow, you know, from the impressions I got of the first episode, I never would have thought I could take on waves like this. And yet, here we are. Barely actually doing it. Take that, long snake. Unless these guys just are somehow significantly easier than fighting the monkeys. Let's see if we can find a cannonball for you somewhere. To blow up big box. Oh boy, this game, guys. I tell you what. It's, uh... It's something. That's soup, I think. No, no, uh, cannonballs concealed in there, I guess. Like, I clearly need to blow that up. There's got to be a cannonball around here somewhere. If only it was blue. What if it was blue? Oh, there it is. Touch. I mean, I didn't think I hit that, but hey, I guess it worked. That is not what I thought was gonna happen. Also not what I thought was gonna happen. All right, let's see if Earth actually helps against these opponents, because these opponents suck. It didn't. Do the, oh my god, it. Okay, so it used all my magic for an attack that didn't work. That was stupid and awful. Wasted all my magic for that. For an attack that didn't even do what it was promoted to damn well do. Huh. Break the enemy's guard and launch them all into the air. Sometimes. You know, when we feel like it. Get up here. Scorpions, man. It's like when The Rock tried to rebrand himself as the Scorpion King and everyone was like, no, you're still The Rock. Didn't work out. Don't fight Scorpions, man. They're never on your side, even when they say they are. I don't really know what the point of that story was. Just that casual reminder that The Rock tried to go by the Scorpion King once and everyone said, nah, nah, you don't get to rebrand. We're just gonna still call you The Rock, man. Yeah, you're, you're, you're not the Scorpion King, you're the Rock. Didn't work out for him. Birds? You gonna join us and fight and die? Or are all of the wolves gonna die by a monkey raid? Yeah, we're not your allies, we're actually here to kill you. Don't know why you're celebrating.
Why did the game feel it necessary to give me an entirely different wave of enemies to have to fight after just painstakingly fighting through a whole wave of enemies? And then the rest of them die. Hey, Sparks, you can come out now. No, we can't. It's a terrible time for him to come out. There's literally enemies everywhere. That was a terrible time to tell him to come out. Ho ho! We did it. We won. No survivors. We don't take prisoners around here, Sparks. Especially any that consider themselves allies of the Parrot. Those Parrot twins. Who I would be upset with. I feel like I wasn't supposed to make that noise when I dropped down here. Yay! This thing is pretty high up in the air if it's still flying. Found it. Seems a bit larger than it should. Hi. So this is where we eat the birds, right? No, you don't. Why? I literally did nothing wrong. Is that his name? Ah, good. A different opponent, a different boss fight that's going to be overly reliant on dragon time in order to win. Uh, and even though I stopped and started to run away. supposed to still be firing. You know what? You deserve this. Anything to take out these parrots. Yeah, that didn't do a whole lot. You could say it wasn't worth it. Now eat the birds. This is where we part ways. So long, chump. And then they died descending from the sky. <sighs> what the? How 
is that even possible? I was gonna question the same thing. We're going after them, right? What? Wait, did I just say that out loud? I mean, I hope so. I want those characters to be written out of the story. Permanently. By their own deaths. I cannot think of another character in all of fiction who I want to die more than these two birds for some reason. Why isn't the ship on fire and falling anymore? What? I thought I was about to have a flying segment. <laughs> and that one's dead. This is not where I landed. What the hell? What just happened? How do sparks know how to safely glide through the bombs? That's just cruel, Spyro. I thought we were gonna set him free. That just seemed unnecessary, Spyro. Well, Spyro, you've become even colder since the last time I saw you. That's why he started utilizing ice more. Interesting. Goodbye. How? Um, no. Goodbye. You know, what I did to you the first time. Well, I just realized I went a really long time without saying anything. I legitimately completely forgot I was recording. <laughs> I, jeez, holy crap, how long was that? How many, how much time was that where I was just sitting there like, huh? <laughs> oh God, I'm not even gonna share what I was actually thinking about because like, <laughs> that, that was weird. I legitimately completely forgot. I feel like I haven't said anything since the mines with Sparks. Like, what was the last sentence I said? Oh, jeez. That's gonna be weird to see in editing. I gotta figure out how I gotta fix that. Completely forgot what I was doing for a second there. I don't know what happened either. Can you just kill the guy? I'm too afraid to stand over there because it's gonna be weird. I just want the lightning breath. Where's the ball? Huh. Cannon! You know? What can I say? Destruction of property is what makes Spyro feel, feel best. Uh, Spyro, I don't enjoy your legend. Ow. Boom. Please tell me this game is more than half over. I mean, I've got three out of four powers. So, surely, we must be near the end. 
That's, I mean, I, we're, we're probably nowhere near the end. I'll be honest with myself. I mean, the first game was pretty short, but surely this game is gonna be longer than that one. Of course, this is a case where I wouldn't mind if this game actually was shorter than the game, than the previous one, which I was surprised with how short it was for the year it came out in, for the consoles it released for, things like that, but I wouldn't be too upset if this one ended quickly. Who are you? The totems don't actually amount to as much as I thought. They're dead. They're all dead. I'm holding the A button, why are you not headbutting him into the air? Can I see the game, please? Like, holy, holy shit. just happened okay well did we did we get back to them yet did we did we catch them did we, did we stop their escape yet why are you guys willing to die for the birds that's what you're doing right now. You're dying on their behalf. Why are so many of you willing to die in their honor? Some magic out of your face. Why is it making me watch this again? I remember what happened. Goodbye. I barely knew you. All I know is that you were someone who decided those birds were worth dying for. Huh? Ah! Hit the thing. God. Get out of here! I said, get out of here. Why are you still here? That's my question for you, Mr. Doom Grin. Grin of Doom. Take me out of here. Okay. Spyro's dead. <laughs> take this, take this, take this. Take this, take this. Well, I honestly thought they were going to expand on the gameplay more a bit from the first game. And, you know, I give them credit. They, I do like that they changed up the powers. Shows a little bit of progression there. 
Still not the most interesting game. Wait, you want me to do that again? Wait, you want me you want me to do it again? I'll do it again. Okay, what did this accomplish? What? Okay. Is there... So there's a button over there, huh? Um... No, that's too clever. It's too wise for them. He died in a cutscene. Just wanna specify. know he's doing all this in stopped time and I can't do anything about it I was stun locked and apparently could not move or go down or anything you gotta be unbelievable this far back god unfreaking believable Holy crap, the amount of distance back this just took me. Why? Why couldn't it just have me be in the next room where I, you know, was? Oh god. Did they forget how checkpoints work for this game? Unbelievable. Wow, I can't believe how much worse it gets. I'm gonna continue to say it. If I was a Spyro fan back in like the heyday of Spyro, I would continually be more and more disappointed with this. Like, I can't imagine how much Spyro fans must have actually felt. Like, how much anger they must have felt when this first came out. When the first one, the lone first came out. Oh. I don't like that you fight these guys by running away from them. Because, like... Wow! This just really is not Spyro. <laughs> How many people wanted Spyro to be, like, high combat? I really, 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 really hope lightning is as overpowered in this game as it was in the first. Because that's going to be what saves it, is if lightning is cool. Where are we going? Oh, wrong one. Fire! Good, the scorpion's here. For a second, I was worried the game was gonna give me a break. Quick, other cannon that I left alive. Take care of this scorpion. I want the cannon to do it for me. Oh god. Can 
Can I play the game? Holy crap. What? Ready? What just happened? Shoot the scorpion. Why isn't it shooting him? Oh, cool. So remember when I was shooting that one other enemy earlier and it was hurting him when they were shooting him? Well, we decided to make it so it only shoot hurts that specific enemy, apparently. Just flip him into the air and throw him off the boat already. This game blows. It really blows. Because I'm doing what I need to be doing to be killing. And sure enough, nothing ever dies. That cannon can kill every enemy in the game. Except the scorpion. We made it not able to hurt the scorpion because... Uh, God. I really hope we never face the scorpions again. I haven't even killed everyone yet. Oh boy, can we just move on? Can we be done with this level? I don't care that he's powered up. He's not immune to f goddamn harm. Ugh. I don't care there's a totem there. It doesn't make him immune to harm. It makes him stronger. That's what the game said it did. Why aren't you being launched? Yeah, because there was something I could have done about that. Here's an idea. What if the game didn't suck? Oh. You ever consider that? Like, what if we made the game good? I wish someone asked for that when they made this game. I wish one of the developers thought to say, Hey, guys, what if we stopped for a second and made the game good? I can't believe no one thought to say that question when they were developing this game. Like, what if, instead of what we're doing, it was fun? My god, he's a genius! Sure is surprising that they need to hire a whole separate guy to apparently say that to them. Or needed to, I guess is the term, because they didn't have anyone say that and the game got made this way. to make the game with the story we want to tell actually good. Man, to live in the universe where someone said that. Get out of here. That's how you take care of it, friends. How are you alive? You fell off an edge. That's how the mechanic of the game works. You fall off an edge, you die. How? 
on you alive. Stay down if you know it's good for you. And then I killed him anyway. Are we are we done with this part of the game yet? Like where where does it want me to go now? Okay. And that did what? Oh, cool. It summoned a little boat that ends the level, because this level stopped being interesting ten minutes ago. Holy schmoly. What if I had lightning breath? Well, this just seems like the wrong way now. So it looks like it just leads to a feather. <gasps> Why? Why did it make it seem like it's going to be weird to jump at and that I might possibly die trying to jump to it? Oh, never mind. You actually can't jump to it. That's where I have to be. That's where the game wants me to go. It just doesn't have a clear way to get to it. Oh, thank God. You gotta be kidding me. Holy moly. I feel like this is going the wrong way. Okay. Is, is it over yet? Why wasn't it just on the other side if it was going to take me to a, another boat? Dead, dead, dead. And the point of that was... <laughs> hey, what's this? I could tell you what it's not. Apparently a checkpoint. Sparks? Those were terrible directions. Is this a checkpoint? Damn. Okay, I was told I could use dragon time during that, and I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. Huh. End of the level! How is that? How have I not reached another checkpoint yet? And then, like, oh, is that boat in the distance where I'm supposed to go? Seems like a stupid plan. Um, hello? Where do I go? Okay. This answers nothing. 
Oh, I'm on fire. Okay, well, I've learned nothing. Oh, there's a lever here. I hate how this works. I want to be done, but I haven't seen a checkpoint yet, and I refuse to redo any of this. So this episode has to be longer. Can you just create a checkpoint for me so I can stop? I have maxed out my powers. And truth be told, I'm not really that much more powerful than I already was. The moment I see a checkpoint, we're stopping. Which will be never, will it? There we go, checkpoint. Alright, hope you guys join me next time. Love you, made it click. God, this game. It's, uh... It's not good. It's, uh... You know, I, I, I thought that the only place to go from the previous Legend of Spyro was up. Because the previous game was a perfectly average game in, like, every way. But this just, like... They, they went down somehow. And I just don't understand how... Like, how?